What do I got for you today? Well, today is a windy day and I can't be flying. You'll be hearing a lot of rattling in the, in the uh, background there. That's the wind. We've got a lot of wind to hear today. But uh, because of that, I, I wanted to do something that uh, I've been meaning to do for quite some time here and just never got around to doing it. And that is showing how to bind these little racers, these little micro FPV racers, with the T8SG. Uh, binding is a subject uh, other people have tried to cover it, and I wasn't satisfied with how other people have been covering it. Uh, but it's something I want to try my, my hand at, and that is today's video. Okay, um, what we got here is I have three different uh, micro quadcopters here. I'm not going to be binding them all. I'm just uh, put them all here to show you examples of what you need to know first. Um, each one has a different type of receiver, I believe. Uh, this one's a Fly Sky. This one's a Free Sky, 16 channel Free Sky, and I think that's a Free Sky 8 channel. Uh, the important thing you need to know is when you purchase your quadcopter, you got to make a decision what type of a receiver to choose. Um, if you're using a T8SG, it really doesn't matter because this one binds with just about all of them. But if you have other transmitters at home that you might want to use also, that's when you want to start considering which specific transmitter you want to uh, bind with. Again, uh, i got three different versions here, and again, I, I, I'm going to show you um, how to bind one of them. We're going to use this one here because it's uh, the most accessible to see <laughs> how to do such. But let's go into how to bind these. Um, nearly all of them, with the exception of DSM-2, DSM-X satellite receivers, uh, but most most of them, <laughs> use a binding process of uh, holding a little bind button down. First off, you've got to identify your receiver on your particular quad cupper when you get it. And the way to do that is, and these little racers, and on uh, larger racers also, uh, there's usually two antennas. One of them is going to be for your FPV uh, transmitter, and one of them is going to be for the receiver of your quadcopter. Uh, sometimes there are two antennas for the receiver, diversity receivers. Uh, that improves reception for the receiver. But in, in the micros, there's, it's rarely that you'll see two. Um, it's usually one for the video transmitter, and again, one for the receiver. And you got to identify that receiver. And in this case, here is your receiver. Uh, transmitters sometimes can look very similar, but if it's connected in the back like this one is, um, it's usually the receiver. Um, and what you want to look for on that receiver is to try to find the bind button. Usually it's a tiny little button. In this case, there it is right there. Um, this one's a little black button. Very easy to access and very easy to press. That's why I'm selecting this one here. Um, let's take another look at it. Here's an XM receiver. And the bind button in this case is right here. It's a little gold thing that you got to depress and hold down when you're binding. And sometimes on these little whoops, not always, but sometimes, you actually need to remove the top. <laughs> on a lot of these little whoops. This is a little tiny six, uh, which you do need to remove the top to access the receiver. And where is that bind button? Look for a little circular gold button right there is your bind button. I don't know if you can see it or not. That's, I don't know if that's focusing properly, but you got to hold that down while plugging in a battery. And that's, let's talk about that subject. You first got to put your quadcopter into bind mode. I'm going to just leave that like that. And to do such with most of these, nearly all of these, you got to hold down that bind button while simultaneously plugging in the battery. Usually this is a two-person job. I get my wife to help me with most of these. Um, this one particular here isn't because it's easily accessible bind button, easy to depress. But again, I haven't plugged it in yet. It's, it's ready to plug in, but I'm going to hold down this bind button while simultaneously plugging in the battery. And when you do such, you usually get a rapid blinking light on your receiver. In this case, on this uh, FlySky receiver, um, you get a bl rapid blinking green light. Let's bring it up a little closer so you can see that. Now, the next thing we want to do is once we get it into bind mode, is go to our, <laughs> go to our um, transmitter. And turn on our transmitter, our T8SG. Now, let's see if I can see these menus. Now that is going to be a problem, isn't it? Unless you can bring it real close. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to look through the viewfinder while doing this, folks. But I'm going to press the enter button. And this is the exit button. And this is our navigation up, down buttons. 
but uh, the light went off there. So let's hit enter and focus it. And we're going to select model menu. And then we're going to select model setup. And right now it says 2A, but I'm going to start all over from fresh. We're going to select load. And we're going to select uh, down. I'm using the down button. And we're going to find an empty slot. These are all pre-programmed ones that I got already. But we're going to use number uh, number 19. And then I'm going to hit enter. And sometimes I get that. I just push down on this knob to get rid of that. And once we're here, we can change the name of this to, by navigating down there. But I'm not going to do that. But you just hit enter and then you can change the name from model 19 to fly sky or whatever you want. But we're going to keep hitting down to model type. Right now it's selected for helicopters. We don't want that. So what we're going to need to hit instead of enter is right left buttons. Okay. So I'm going to select right. We don't want plane. We don't. There we go. We want multi-copter. That's what a gyrocopter or quadcopter is. So that's it, correct. So now I'm going to go downward. Select going down. We can change the transmitter power. I'm going to increase it. Uh, I'm going to select 150 milliwatts. Although I don't believe the T8SG is really capable of 150. But that'll definitely make sure we got max power on our transmitter. And selecting down. We don't need PPM. Right now, this uh, section that I got it on now, it says Devo, is where you set the particular receiver that you're using, using the right left button. And we're going to select, keep hitting right or left, actually I guess I'm going to have to go left to go through the menus until I find AFHDS2A. Well, I guess i got to go right. Devo, WKA. Keep going right, DSM-2, DSM-X, J6 Pro, FlySky. Now this FlySky, I believe, is the AFHDS, the, the original AFHDS. We want 2A. There it is. And we are going to select Enter before we, before we bind. Actually, we can bind right now. <laughs> Up, down selects the bind. I'm trying to keep this in focus. And now we're going to hit and watch. Watch the little green light before I hit it. I'm going to hit enter, and that little green flashing light should go solid. There you go. It's gone from rapid blinking to slow blinking. Now, the next thing you need to do is disconnect the drone. And leaving, and we can hit, we can enter, exit the binding, because we got bind, so we hit enter. And we can hit exit, and exit out of that. And leaving the transmitter on, we re-plug in the quadcopter. I'm sorry. And it should automatically bind. With that slow light, slow flashing light now. Okay, although we got this bound, uh, that doesn't mean we're ready to fly just yet. What I strongly recommend doing is... You need to plug your uh, quadcopter in after you get this bound for the first time. Plug your quadcopter into Betaflight or any other configuration program uh, like CleanFlight. And you're going to need to set up the, uh, or verify that the channels that your transmitter is transmitting on is actually correct. Okay, it could be set up to AETR or, <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself here. But you want to verify that when you go throttle up, throttle down, on the receiver tab in beta flight that the throttle is increasing or decreasing throttle left throttle right you want to verify that too the same with pitch and roll <laughs>